Hey everyone, Craig Reckless. I'm gonna uh, do a guitar tip today. Um, it's gonna be a little trick I do uh, when I'm playing live. So I got the idea to do this video from my buddy uh, GTV Guitar TV. So I'm gonna put the video uh, that gave me the, the idea to do this idea for you guys. Um, but he, uh, he had an idea where um, you have a Gibson, you can get three sounds out of your, your one guitar, which is really cool. Um, so I'll put that link in my description below and uh, check that video out. But uh, it sparked uh, something I wanted to sh show you that I, I do live. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out with my practice amp, but uh, it's something I do live and, I, and I've done it forever. Uh, it's a really neat trick. Um, I probably do it more than anybody but I, I know as a guitar player. Not because I'm better at it, because it's really nothing to it. It's just that I just love it. And uh, I just like it, and I use it a lot. So, let's show you what I'm doing, okay? So, first we're gonna, we're gonna get a nice distortion. All right, so you gotta have, it's, this is all gonna be in the toggle switch. So my toggle switch is gonna be down. I'm having my, my, my volumes, my, my bottom volumes on the Gibson. It's gonna, this could work for other guitars too. Um, if you have a, you know, a toggle. But um, so my bottom volume, I'm going to have the volumes all the way up to 10, okay? So when I come up, I'm going to be anywhere from 0 to 4 when I do this. So it's going to be like this. So see, it, so right there is on about 4, so it doesn't really cut out. So if I put it on 0, it, it's something like this. So So it's like having an effect, but you're just using your guitar. Um, I know uh, Tom Morello does a lot of stuff like that. So I, I do this a lot too, but I, I uh, one of my most favorite things I like doing with this um, the, the, the toggle switch is actually getting a nice feedback going, right? So sometimes, like, there's a trick with feedback. Like, so say you're you're doing a sound check. Um, you, when you when you turn around, you'll know where your feedback is. So you you'll you'll, you'll, you'll have your guitar stand in a certain way, and uh, if if you stand another like an inch this way or another foot this way. You might not get the same feedback so sometimes you take a little piece of duct tape put it down on the floor where your feet were and you know where that spot is on stage to get that feedback you know what i'm saying or or you can just you can just you know take the guitar and and and, and you'll hear it you know it, it'll sustain more so but anyways i'm going to try this with my amp the, 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 the thing i like to do so let's uh let's, so i'm, I'm going to get a nice little so but it, it sounds it, it doesn't sound like anything cool right now but when you have a band going and there's like the, the bass is playing something the drums is is playing down the beat, you know, then you can sit there and, and, and use it. What's the word I want to use? You want to, you can use it melodically. Okay, that's the word I was looking for. So you want to be like, you can, you can have it going with the drum beat or with the bass or just, you know, something you want to add like, you're playing it on the off beat, you know, so there's a lot you can do with this. So remember, it's just all it is, is this. If you want to be fancy, move it around. Play chords. So it's really a simple trick, but anyways, again, check out GTV and uh, have a great day.